This chat room is actually an online criminal auction site. After gaining access to bank accounts, PIN numbers, and credit card information on millions of computers, international criminals are selling it to the highest bidder. Everything you type in on that computer gets recorded and then it gets shot up back up to the criminals like once a week or once a month so that they have this huge body of data and then they have sophisticated tools to search through that to find a bank password or a credit card number. In 2006 alone, more than 15 million Americans had their money and identity stolen online. Through scams like this one on a social networking site, a friendly invitation promising adult content is actually an attempt to gain access to your computer. The nature of today's infectables is that they can infect you without you seeing anything or doing anything. Just looking at the web page enables them to infect you. The FBI estimates that billions of dollars were stolen online in 2006. And even for parents who don't use social networking sites, their kids could be putting their computers and their finances at risk. Typical day I go on my parents' computer, I log on, put the password in, I go on my MySpace, and I see a lot of sketchy, like, friend request and stuff. Every single time I go and check my MySpace, which is daily, I will find friends that are, are not on my list and um, they're trying to add me. I have no idea who these people are and it's always a very sketchy picture. It's always a picture of some beautiful woman, of course. Experts say the best way to protect your computer is to make sure it's updated with antivirus software so you can see what sites are safe and what sites are not. They infect ordinary innocuous sites, you know, the, the places you shop, the places you do business, the things you do, the MySpace page, the kids MySpace page. Really, you're going to need protection. It's not, you're not going to be protected just by saying, well, I always play it safe on my computer because we're past that. On behalf of Trend Micro, I'm Sonia Martin.